Hi and welcome to another Honest video and those of you who follow the channel will know that three months ago I tried out Owl Therapy for the first time. Now if you've never heard of Owl Therapy, it is marketed as a non-surgical facelift and it uses ultrasound technology to target the deeper layers in your skin, stimulating them to create collagen and tightening the skin from beneath as well. I also, two weeks ago, you may have seen, I had Botox treatment that was uh, delivered by my sister, Rachel, who happily happens to be an aesthetic nurse. So I promised a two week follow up on that and we'll have a closer look at the results later on. Back to the L therapy though. Uh, just a few days ago, I went back to the face and body clinic where I first had the treatment with Dr. Victoria Dobie for that midway three month follow up uh, to have a look at the before and after pictures and chat about the results. So let's have a look at how I got on. So this is three months in. You've got another three months mm -hmm. of tightening with our therapy and, um, uh, and a change of healing collagen through to um, youthful collagen. So with our therapy, the skin always looks very young. Yes. Um, and this ability to do this with absolutely no downtime at all. Uh, it's very straightforward. You can go out that night, go back to work the following day. You've had lifting, so the shape of your face is yeah. lifting yeah. and improving around here. You've um, you're getting some nice lifting up around here in this area, mm -hmm. some improvement and some um, a little bit of volumization with the other therapy, and that is um, improving your face shape here. So you can see you just you sit flatter and a little bit lower. Yeah. And so when we lift the smas, it literally lifts the face. Um, from in front of the ear and then upwards mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're seeing happening here you look fuller and higher around here because you've had lift and you look slimmer in the lower part of the face again yeah. because you've had lift so um, after six months where would you be expecting to see me just a little bit would there be more of a lift or a change in the skin do you think both mm -hmm. really? yeah so you'll get a bit more lifting and you'll get um, a more obvious change in skin quality. Yeah. So um, brighter, smoother, more youthful skin. And you were saying that was different to laser? Yes. So CO2 laser mm -hmm. tightens the skin, but it changes the skin structure. So especially in an ablative where mm -hmm. the, the skin surface is removed, there's a lot of swelling after that treatment. Um, and a couple of weeks recovery. Mm -hmm. The results are good for tightening, but the skin doesn't look youthful because yeah. the structure of the skin has changed. So that's what Dr. Victoria had to say about the results. My take at the midway stage on all therapy, um, when I first came out of the treatment, and I said that in the original video, I could see a lift. Um, under my chin and I would say I had a bit of sagging under my chin for a long time so I'm just about to turn 47 and it was definitely getting worse and I was starting to get a bit jowly and I was also starting to notice the very heavier lines around my mouth. Um, both of them are not annoying me anymore which tells me that that has definitely been tightened up. Um, I was also really surprised although I found the treatment a bit toe curling at points, if I'm honest. It was quite painful around under the chin and on the sides. And that tenderness lasted for a few weeks. But I could have gone back to work. Nobody would have known any difference. So there is literally no downtime with this treatment for quite a good result. Up here on my forehead, I would have liked to have seen a better lift by now. But I am reserving judgment on that to the six month point. But in an ideal world, I would have had some lift above the eyes uh, to give me, you know, some relief around this area of sagging skin. So on to the Botox. Uh, we're two weeks in. That's the point when the Botox has taken its full effect. 
Um, those of you who watched the treatment being delivered by my sister, Rachel, will have heard me talk about um, the fact that I like the way she does it allows me some movement in my forehead. I don't like that completely frozen feeling where you look like a deer in the headlights. So she gave me some jabs between the eyes, um, above the eyes, and around the eyes to help prevent wrinkles here. A reminder that you can watch that video. I've got a link in the description box below. So two weeks in, I now have full movement in my forehead almost. I can't frown very well, but I can, I've got enough expression in my face to give me a completely natural look, I think, but I've got rid of the lines. So that's a good result for me. And also by not putting in a heavy amount of Botox here, I haven't got a kind of drooping effect, which you can sometimes get if you go to somebody who's heavy handed. So it's always really, really important to pick a good practitioner, somebody with medical experience, because there's always a risk wherever an injection is involved. So you're talking doctor, nurse or dentist. Um, and always ask them if you want a more natural result, encourage them to go a little bit lighter, especially if it's your first time trying it, um, so you can see what works for you. So two treatment follow-ups and one review there. I hope you found them worthwhile. Botox, an injectable that's available for about £200 plus here in the UK, depending how much you get. All therapy, on the other hand, uh, using that ultrasound technology is way more expensive at something like £2,000 for a full face treatment. That's like $3,000. So that one requires a lot of thought before you go ahead. I will be back in three months time, which will be um, my final reveal. It will be six months past treatment and the full effect of the old therapy will have taken place by then. So I'll let you know whether I think it's value for money. There are plenty of other reviews, products and treatments here on the Honest channel. Do feel free to check them out and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.